Hello everyone. And finally it's time for the long awaited, long, long hoped for toaster tutorial. Some thought it didn't exist. Some thought it couldn't exist. But those individuals are small minded. So we're gonna do it now. I hope you guys enjoy. I've been working on it for a while. And um, thank you. So guys, what you wanna do is you wanna start off the desktop. You want your condiment. So we're gonna be using Marmite today. We're gonna be using Lurpak. We need your bread, your plate for your bread to go on, and your knives. Now, this of course is a separate tutorial in itself, but it's basically the same as my how to make pate on toast tutorial, which if you haven't seen, you can go check out now on my channel. So guys, today we're just gonna be focusing on this piece of machinery over here. So, to start off, toasters should not be left unattended in use. The actuating lever will not stay down unless the power supply is connected. Remove this label before use. Now you see, that is a very important uh, bit of advice there that all of you should follow when operating this machinery because it can result in house fires. So, now you want to get to grips with your toaster. These are the different settings you can have, but usually you don't need to play around with these too much. Cold setting, blow setting, stick setting, and then you've got them over here for this, for this side. These are your, your knobs. Cheeky. These are your knobs, and uh, you just want to twist your knob uh, back and forth until it clicks. And what, every time your knob clicks, that means it goes up or down on the scale. Uh, this is actually a timer. So if your knob is really high up, um, your toast is going to be there for quite a while. And it could get burnt from the time that is in there. So, yeah. You sh you sh Everyone likes their toast different, guys. So depending on how you like your toast will, you know differ the way in you use this machine. So, you know, this isn't a concrete guide. This is just this is just a rough, round the edges, kind of how to use your toaster. Because, you know, I'm not going to tell you what setting to use or whatever. You can explore for yourself. I thought I'd let you guys do that yourself, you know, out of kindness of my heart. So, anyway, um, you've got two here. You have four separate sections, okay? These four separate sections are split into two groups. Whoa there, guys. Before we go any further, I've noticed that only 50% of you are actually subscribed. So I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe. Thank you. It helps the channel out a lot. Oops. So these two are corresponding with this lever to press down the bread where it will go and to turn this knob. So this lever will have a different time to this set of levers here. Okay? These two. Now... To finally get into the nitty gritty of it, um, we need to turn on the toaster. But before I do, guys, why don't you just consider subscribing, subscribing for a minute? You know, it would help me pay for my own education and teach me how to read and write. So, guys, now that the toaster's turned on, you want to take your bread and you want to put your bread into the toasting slots. Now. Be careful, because once they're in here, there's no going back, guys. Because now you just have dirty bread, okay? So what you want to do, you want to you wanna mess around with your knob for a bit. Just play around with your knob and get your knob comfortable into a comfortable spot for a comfortable time. As you can see, this is a pretty old toaster make. So, you know, most of the numbers have rubbed off, rubbed off the knob. And, um, yeah, so you kind of just have to guess. I like my toast kind of soft, okay? Personally, I just want my toast a bit soft. So I'm ready to toast the, the toast in the toaster. And then when you're ready to toast the toast in the toaster, when the toast, sorry, the bread, when the bread is in the toaster, you press down on here and that will lock. That'll actually lock. And the iron, the iron bars inside of there will start to heat up until they become red hot. And they give off of heat onto the bread to to cook the bread, essentially, to toast the bread. Okay, guys? So, that will 
that will be like that until that time is up. When it is done, I'm just going to show you now, speed the process up a bit. It's going to pop up like that. Okay, so don't be alarmed if that happens. That's supposed to happen, you know. Um, I wouldn't get too worried if it happens. Uh, there's been a couple of times where I've actually got quite scared by it because it's just so unexpected and it's a bit violent, honestly. I think the um, the manufacturers should be like a bit more caring with it because old people could, you know, suffer severely from those um, kind of attacks from, you know, shock and that. So, yeah. But anyway, guys, that is my toaster tutorial done. Um, finally happened. I know you guys have been waiting for it for a long time. So uh, I'm just happy I could get it out to you. And um, yeah, I hope this helped.